Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be showing you a very short video on how to get a file explorer on terminal for the folks out there who wants to you know explore files, do some file management on the exp on the terminal. Uh, this is going to be very helpful. Um, so the tool that we are going to use is called Yaji. It, you can go to this download link and uh, you know follow the installation documents so i'll be clicking on docs here and um, to install this you can use the package manager of your operating system um, i'm on a mac so i'll be using the brew installation steps so that's going to, let's go to home view um, copy this command so you can uh, just install yaji but they also have all all these cool utility functions that let you you know download uh, not download that lets you view um, images or uh, you know preview pdf files uh, some of them lets you preview uh, you know zip files uh, and all the cool stuff so i'll be installing all of these tools together and um, so i'll open up my terminal which is west west term in my case i'll be pasting this command and uh, i already have it installed so it's not gonna reinstall it again i'll just uh, so once this is installed um, you can do yaji to you know open this sort of file explorer tree um, the way this works is you can hit your up arrow and down arrow to navigate through folders and uh, you know right arrow to open the folder so i'm inside this project folder now i can go up into these aura theme wallpapers and go right and you know check these wallpapers now the cool stuff is that you can also see images so yes you see the images you, you can see a preview of the images right on your terminal um, but do note that you need a terminal that supports image protocols. So I'm using Wisdom here. It has support for showing images. Uh, similarly, Kitty has support for the same. I think Item also does. Uh, I'm not certain on that though. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. Um, also, if you're familiar with Vim motions, you can use your Vim keys here to navigate like J and K to go up and down, H and L to go left and right. You can do that um, to copy something you you do yank which is your uh, the y key in vim the default y key so you yank it and to paste you do p which pastes it um, cool thing it tries to rename so that you don't you know override your existing file by pasting um, to create a file you do a and that gives you this prompt to create a file um, you can do something like projects um, so if you want to create a folder you do like projects slash uh, that creates a folder for you see here this is a directory uh, if you wanted to create a file let's say uh, I wanted to do a notes.txt I can just do that and yeah, it, it creates that um, another good thing is uh, when you open the files from here which is enter by default or your return key um, it opens up in your you know default software that is set for that particular file so it opened up my uh, max pdf viewer here um, if i'm opening up a text file in this case uh, which let's say this um, let's open this sample three text file uh, if i hit enter it's going to open this thing in my vim because I have the Vim as a default editor on my terminal. Um, I can quit out of Vim from here and it drops me right back into the file explorer that I was in. So that's about creating new files. You can delete with D and it's going to ask you for confirmation. You do Y and that's deleted. Um, you can cut files with X and you can go inside let's say projects directory um, i didn't mean to open it you can go right on projects and do p for pasting here um, so that's your basic file navigation if you want to open a file uh, you can do enter as i said like it opens up in your default uh, file viewer for that particular file type um, if you wanted to select multiple files, you can do V and then 
you know scroll down to select multiple files you can open multiple files you can delete all of them if you wanted so that goes your basic file management and to exit out of this file manager you just hit Q so that's a really cool terminal file manager that I have found recently and I'm using it a lot more um, so yeah that's something I wanted to share with you guys and you can obviously visit the docs and quick start section to you know, and, and then they have a nice file operations section here where you can figure out you know all the key bindings for all sort of operations this will be especially useful for useful useful for those folks who use vim a lot because a lot of the key bindings are actually vim key bindings so yeah that's that's all i wanted to share in this video peace out see ya